Intern! Intern, good morning! You are never going to believe where we are. Oh my goodness, all of that hard work, all of the struggles for growing our zoos and teaching everyone how well we can take care of animals and endangered species and educating all of our guests about the natural world, it has finally paid off, intern. We have been asked, you and I, to perform some very special assignments. We are now going to be sent out into the world to various parks and conservation agencies throughout the entire world, asked to do very special jobs involving lots of different animals. We're going to improve a bunch of parks. We're going to help with certain breeding programs. We are going to show off our educational skills by building up areas that need a little bit of extra help. And I am so excited to do this. Oh, don't worry, our zoos are still going strong and we're checking in with them on a regular basis. But today, today in turn, we are up in the northern parts of North America, getting ready for a very special job. Today we are at Beaver Lodge and I am so excited. This is a brand new park. They have finally been able to reclaim some land that used to be historic wetlands and was destroyed through deforestation and all sorts of sad things. And now they have asked you and I to come and help them out. In fact, I have a letter right here that should explain everything. One second. Ahem him. Dear Zookeeper Siri and valued intern, thanks so much for accepting this assignment to assist Beaver Lodge with its conservation efforts. After many years, we have finally purchased the land we need to restore some of our native wetlands, including our unique subspecies of local beaver. Researchers have carefully tended to these beavers for several generations to keep their line alive and being able to release them back into the protected wilds is a joyful occasion. However, it won't be easy. The land here has been heavily deforested and its biodiversity is extremely weak. Our beavers won't be able to survive here without a proper forest being planted with plenty of varieties of trees, shrubs, and small plants. Not to mention many other forest creatures to help the forest ecosystem grow and flourish. Can you help us by using your unique skills to reforest our protected wetlands and introduce species back into the forest? The future of our special beavers and our forest rely on you. As new beavers are born into the park, we will be able to get permission to add in rare animals, such as our local red fox and even the gray wolf. By adding in apex predators, but adding in apex predators means that there must be plenty of other animals in a healthy forest first. Here is a list of goals we hope to reach for the park. As our park grows and new animals are added, we will be able to update you about special opportunities and events that may arise. Thanks again so much for your help and good luck. The Beaver Lodge Beaver Conservation Researchers, who like to call themselves the BLBs. But there you go, intern. So, thus to introduce you to our assignment, we are here to help reforest. As you can see, there's a lot of trees missing to reforest and protect this budding wetland where we've got these itty bitty beavers. Just look at them, they're so tiny and pooping everywhere. We'll have to clean up after that. There's no one else here but us. We are, we are the ones in charge of everything, but I love it in turn because we have as much money as we need to do this job. We have proven ourselves and we have limits because we won't be able to add in certain animals without getting permission and without being able to show that we can take care of the ones we've got first, but we're gonna be able to do this. We're going to be able to build up this special park and take on the special challenges. In fact, one moment, intern. I believe I do have... Uh-huh. Here's the second half of the letter. Got it. This is our goals and challenges. The things that the BLBs, the Beaver Lodge Beaver Researchers, would like us to focus on for getting the Beaver Lodge Park back up and going. It begins with reintroducing our two breeding pairs of beavers into the park and making sure they have enough food, water, space, and various plants to support them. Also, we need to keep the, health, the forest healthy by adding in more trees. As you can see, we are missing a lot of trees in turn. Oh my goodness, and you can see out of the corner of your eye there, we do have some bat caves here that we're working with. How exciting! But we need to make the forest healthier by replanting a bunch of trees, remembering that the American beaver prefers to eat aspen and willow trees the most. And then we also need to keep the river healthy by taking on the river challenge and adding in at least three aquatic species to live inside of the river and the lake here. And we can't forget, beavers love to eat the roots of aquatic plants, such as pond lilies, especially in the summer. So that would definitely help the beaver health as well. 
And although this park does not rely on donations, they do have visitors. And if we can keep those visitors happy with proper facilities and educational resources, then we can help the Beaver Lodge Beaver Park by getting more resources for them. They've been promised if they can get their park up to two stars that they would be allowed to have a permit to build a breeding research center, which would definitely help with the beavers breeding enough. Oh, and there's more bats. That's so cool. Ah, so that would be awesome. And then we have been told that the first major goal that the researchers have been given is to get to 12 beavers. And once they are up at 12 beavers, then they will have permission to introduce the red fox back into the park. Isn't that just so exciting, Intern? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the special assignments we now have. Oh gracious, and look at this. This is Carol. This is actually a wonderful little beaver who is named after one of the leading beaver researchers in the United States, Dr. Carol, who knows so much about beavers. I've read several of her papers on the flight over here and I was so impressed. Let's add some lettuce in here. So this is going to be our special assignment. We're toning it down from running an entire zoo and we're running more. Oh, look, look, look. <gasps> Intern, this is fantastic news. Look at this. Look at this. Already. Already the beavers are working on building a beaver lodge. Oh, this is fantastic. The BLBs are going to be so happy to hear that their beavers are already hard at work building a lodge. Oh my goodness, where are they building it? That's fantastic. But yes, so this is another one of our beavers. There are two breeding pairs. These are a subspecies beaver that have lived mostly in the forest of North America. Oh, Michi is really thirsty. Michi is another one of those beavers, and it looks like she's having a little bit of a hard time finding somewhere to get a drink. What about down here, Michi? Do you want to drink something down here? Going into the water? Is that going to help? Let's see if that helps her get a drink. Hopefully it should. There you go, Michi. There you go. Oh, but yes, so we're going to kind of tone it down and focus mostly on beavers and their related species. You're treading the water. Are you getting something to drink? They've been, this is their first day in the wild, which very exciting day. Release days are always one of my favorite. So hopefully she'll figure it out. But if not, we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and put in a little, a little water thing because she just may be more used to drinking out of the food dishes. Yep, she's just more used to the food dishes right now. So hopefully we can convince Michi that the, the beautiful water over here, I mean, look at this. Don't you just want to get in here? Ah, oh, but you know, we need to add some nice aquatic plants, get some, some cattails and things planted over here for these little guys. There we go, Michi. There you go. So that's our job. We're going to replant and reforest this place. Um, we've got to get some aquatic animals in here to meet one of the first challenges. And then, oh, let me show you around. So basically, this area is quite deforested. It was kind of victim of a lot of unfortunate events, a lot of deforesting, a lot of silliness. And oh my goodness, they already have so many park guests. Holy moly! They have so many park guests. So we're going to need to take really good care of these people. Wow. Um... Wow, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them already, so we've got to take care of the park guests as well. We're going to stay busy in turn, but it's not a huge area. They, the BLBs weren't able to afford a gigantic park, but it's enough that they can take care of a few of their keystone animals that they don't want to lose from their local ecosystems. So here we go. There's, there's, a, bit, there's a bit to work in here. This forest definitely needs replanted. Nice opened area. I wonder if as the beavers build on their little lodge, and who knows where he dragged that branch off to. I'm very interested. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, those are some white lilies. Well, that's always a good start. We can plant some white lilies. Why not? Get some white lilies going under this willow tree. There we go. A few of them. And beavers do prefer willows. There we go. Nice. Nice. Add in a few of these. There. There. I love the little lilies, beautiful. And I can hear the beavers talking. All right, so they've got some branches over here with their swamp cypress trees. Where are you going, buddy? Going to eat lettuce from the hollow log. This is Carl. So basically we have Carl, Mitchie, Carol, and Daryl. And they are all uh, our four breeding beavers, and it's on their shoulders that the entire BLB's hopes are. So the beaver lodge depends on their success and also on what we can do to keep these people entertained and taken care of and raise the, the stars. Though thankfully we have as much money as we need to do that. And, oh, what should we do first? Oh, okay, the beavers seem okay for a second, and I'm worried that people are going to get impatient so let's come over here and we need to figure out ways to entertain the people. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know what? I think right here we need to build a little like bullfrog exhibit. Yes. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. And then we can introduce some of the bullfrogs over into the beaver park too. So let's go ahead and start by finding, let's see, our little log fences. You ready for this intern? All right, let's see. Log fence, log fence, where are you, log fence? I hope I, ah, oh, there it is, the low forest log fence. Yeah, see, people are bored. I think the BLBs are gonna get in trouble if there's like not things for people to see and, and like look at. So let's build a little teensy pond right over here. Kind of like a micro pond. Whoops, I don't really like how, there we go. Also, what do you think about the fact that the BLBs decided building a bunch of log fences was a good idea for keeping beavers inside of a, a designated conservation area. I don't know about that. I think we might have to have a little talk with the BLB and be like, so guys, you know the beavers, they like to chew through logs, right? So we'll have to, we'll have, to have a little talk with them. But until then, let's put this in here. Come over here, add in a little gate so we can get in and out. And then let us put in, yeah, I think maybe an American bullfrog that should be good. Let's see, let's see, what's on our Palestinian wetlands? Do 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 do, almost there, there we go. Yeah, give them a little bullfrog to look at. That should entertain the masses. I know it would entertain me. All right, let's get the wetlands in here. Nice, definitely nice. Oh, I can hear the people complaining out of the corner of my ear. Yes, the corner of my ear, in turn. Oh, but I'm so excited. I mean, isn't this such an honor in so many ways? to be asked to help out to take care of someone's precious like concert like conservation park that to me that's just such a deep honor i'm just blown away by this yes need more places to sit oh my gosh it's always the guest first you would you would hope and wish that it would be the animals that come first in turn but you and i we've done this long enough to know that the guest bladders are always the very first thing that matter, no matter if you're running a conservation park, if you're running a for-profit zoo, if you're running a breeding center, it's always the guest splatters. All right, hey, stop that. Wait, there we go. All right, wait, you over here, stop that too. All right, there, we got it, we got it. All right, now let's see, what kind of plant should we add in for this little guy? Ooh, breathing roots, bulrushes, cattails, cattails should do it. Put a few cattails along the edges, nice. There we go, interns. So you gotta give people something to look at. When they walk into a park, they don't realize that most of the big exhibits have to be built at the back for space purposes. They just wanna be immediately entertained. <laughs> I know it's a little devilish of me, intern, but I really feel like we should throw in a few leeches to this pond, just in case some kid wants to stick his hand in there. Oh, I am feeling, I am a whippersnapper today. Feeling my oats. All right, let's put this over here. Nice, and then let's make sure that there's plenty of food. Some nice insects for these American bullfrogs. A little wetlands rock formation for a bit of variety. Ooh, that is looking good. We are on top of this. Let's add in a hollow log with insects right over here. Again, in case the kids want to stick their fingers in. <laughs> and some green pitcher plants. I like it. I like it. There we go. Just a nice small little park that's gonna take care take care of these animals. Alright, and then let's see. Hopefully the beavers will start breeding soon too. Because we'll be able to add in a lot of rare animals once the beavers start having their babies. Whoops. Alright, let's get some yeah, that's better. There we go. And this this place doesn't even accept donations, so we don't need to even worry about putting like little donation things out. They don't even accept them. All right. There, beautiful, beautiful. This is what we're here for in turn. The fact that our skills are off the charts. And then maybe one tree, one little mangrove tree. Uh, it's a very lovely tree, so you know what? I'm okay with that. One mangrove tree, there we go. Now let's add in some American bullfrogs, North American bullfrogs. How many? Um, let's do two males and three females. There you go, guys. Can you please entertain our little guests? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, we need to add some of them. When they have babies, we will add some of them over. Hi, look at your big old mouth. Oh my goodness, they're so cool looking. 
Hopefully this will entertain our guests. So they will be like, oh, I like it. I like it. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Look at him jump. Oh my goodness. Off into the water he goes. So cool. Daryl is really thirsty. Daryl, my friend. Are you having trouble? Daryl, you managed to wander way down there. Okay, intern. So as far as beaver care 101, looks like we're going to need... Because these are, beavers are still learning how to survive in the new wilds. Um, and they're so used to drinking out of these little containers. Looks like we're going to have to... <gasps> this is where he decided to build the lodge! <laughs> if he does this, that means that we're going to end up with a whole pond over here. Oh my goodness, he's going to he's gonna alter the ecosystem of the area, this beaver, and create a whole other pond over here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so interesting in turn. That's how beavers start changing things. I thought he would want to come over here, but no, he wants to build an entirely new pond for his family. So I predict a lot of flooding in this area. I really do. I think as time goes on, that area is going to flood so much. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's a lot of work to walk all the way from there to there. Let's put in some hollow logs with lettuce kind of sprinkled on our way over. So that he has something to eat since he's being such a silly beaver. I'll put one over there too. And then to help out a little bit more with the forest part of things, let's put in some willows. Beavers really, really love willow trees. Uh, to eat, but they prefer everything that I have read in preparing for coming and helping with the beavers say that they really prefer aspen and they really prefer just going for the trees that are kind of close to let's take this one out that are close to where their rivers are their rivers and streams they don't like to wander too far into the forest because that's where the predators could be or in this case there's no predators here yet but there are a bunch of bats Look at those little guys! Aren't they so cute? This is one of the bat caves that's here on this conservation land. And actually, these little bats are one of the reasons that we were even able to have the BLB come in and buy this area. Because these are protected species of bats. So they couldn't build on top of here because of these guys. Go you guys! You're saving the beavers. Alright, how are our beavers doing? Doing a little better? A little better, Daryl? Yep, he's good now. They really are being so interesting. Oh my gosh, and it's so fascinating to have them in such a big open area since it means that we have to do a little more looking when we want to find where our beavers wandered off to. All right, let's take care of this. One of the first things we're gonna need to do is get this area reforested. Birch trees are very, very popular. And so are aspen, let's put them over here. There we go. So, yeah, we don't want to too heavily reforest it since you need room for the trees to fall as the beavers chew on them and knock them down. And they need room to drag the trees, which right now they've got some piles of branches over here that have fallen from these swamp cypresses. But they need room for the trees to fall so that they can drag the trees down into the water and then boo the, them, like, you know, where they float. The trees will float on the water and then they can drag them all the way over to where they're building their lodge which in the beavers case for our beavers at the beaver lodge park is all the way down there for some reason they decided that's the spot this little spot right here but it is the perfect spot to literally dam up with the beaver dam the the river and so i think this creek it's going to be really cool in turn we're going to watch this this dam get built this little lodge is going to get built and eventually it's going to to go and flood this area so that's going to be really cool to watch all right guesties how are we doing they're enjoying the bullfrogs the bullfrogs seem to be enjoying themselves Whew, and i don't know about you in turn but i could use somewhere to sit and i bet our guest could too so let's go ahead and find where our lovely benches are all right some seating there we go ah this looks good See, it's beaver themed. It's beaver themed because it's just a little, <laughs> a little log to sit on. How cute. All right, let's put a couple down here for people to sit and rest. And then maybe put a couple over here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put a couple, one right there and one right, oops, not quite right there. We want it like right here. There we go. Good job, intern. And they're gonna complain right now because the park is new. It's open to the public, but there's nothing really to see just yet. So they're going to whine about it. But don't worry, intern. Don't take what they say personally about this place being boring. We're going to get some trees planted. We're going to get the, the whole place spiced up. 
and it's gonna turn out pretty darn nice. All right, but let's go ahead and take a breather, take a seat, and then, intern, your job today is to let me know what kind of aquatic animals do you think we should add in to the beaver park? What do you think we should put in here? I'm thinking fish. Beavers actually don't eat fish. Did you know that, intern? But we need to have the fish and other aquatic critters over here to keep the park's water ecosystem nice and healthy. I am so excited. I cannot wait to help out the BLB by getting their beavers hopefully up and breeding one day. They're thinking about it. North American Bullfrog is really hungry. Well, don't stand over there. You want to come? Oh, thirsty. Okay. All right, here's another critter that can't figure out how the heck to use a pond, and that's okay. So we're going to put this in here for it to eat, or drink, I mean. And then I will see you bright and early in the morning, intern, as we continue helping out here at the BLB and hopefully turning this teensy little park into a thriving micro-ecosystem with its keystone animals. So I'll see you in the morning, intern. Bye-bye!